and how are you today? Okay, let's sort. We are in Macmillan, our book, and today we are going to take unit 10, which lesson? Sentence building. So, this lesson is sentence building and unit 10. Okay, let's start. Okay, first, first let's read Moby's Bubbles. What is he saying now? He's saying, remember, an adverb tells us more about a verb. An adverb tells us more about a verb. An adverb of manner answers the question how. An adverb of manner answers the question how. Most adverbs of manner end with y or ly. Ends with ly. He said, Notice the way the spelling changes with, with this word. This word, I will tell you which word. Okay? Again, fast. Remember, an adverb tells us more about a verb. An adverb of manner answers the question of how. Most adverbs of manner end with ly. Okay, very good. Let's read what's in the box and I will, I will explain everything for you, inshallah. First, we see a picture here. Uh, old man, very old man, or cave men, or cave people. They are painting on inside the cave. Okay, and they are using the painting from earth. And I see here some people uh, having fun or uh, they are happy or excited and these things. Okay, let's read what's in the box. How did the man paint the picture? How did the man paint the picture? The man painted the picture quickly. The man painted the picture quickly. This is the first question. How did the children hear these children? How did the children shout? How did the children shout? The children shouted noisily. The children shouted noisily. So, how? The word how. It's a question word, as you know. All of you know the meaning of how. How is telling you the way of something is done okay the way of something is done okay so how is a question to answer it you have to answer with a adverb with an adverb okay um, what's the adverb what is the adverb what's the adverb the adverb is a word Moby said here, an adverb tells us more about a verb. That's right. The adverb describes the verb. The adverb describes the verb. Okay? Do you remember the adjective? The adjective. Muhammad is good. Good is an adjective. Why? I told you that the adjective describes the nouns. And Muhammad is a noun. So, good describes Muhammad. So, good is an adjective. Very good. The other word is adverb. The adverb, I said that the, this is the word that describes huh, a verb. Verb. Okay. Muhammad feels well. Okay. I can say Muhammad. Muhammad is quickly. No. Muhammad is fast. Yes. Okay. So, when I say in this, this sentence, the man painted the picture quickly. The man painted the picture quickly. The word quickly here is describing the man or the painting. 
the painting yes he is painting quickly so the the verb the the adverb here is quickly and it describes painting paint which is an action or verb okay the children shouted noisily here we are describing the the shouting noisily tell us more about shouting and shout here is an ad, uh, is a verb action okay this is about how and the adverb so any question with how you have to answer it with an adverb how is the weather today how is the weather today you have to describe the weather okay so here quickly we have quickly it's quick plus ly look at the screen look at your book quick plus ly becomes quickly okay noisy becomes ly noisy is adverb or adjective adjective this place is noisy i describe the place place is noun so it's an adjective noisy is adjective if we add ly to it it will be noisily and huh, it will be adverb quick here quick is an adjective if we want to add ly it will be quickly is an adverb okay so most of these adverbs just we add ly to the, to the adjective we add just ly to the adjective to, to transform it to uh, an, adverb, an adverb form okay but notice here the way the word noisy the adjective noisy here okay look at noisily we didn't just add ly we changed something right who can tell me what, what the, what's the changing here Yes, we changed Y to I. Why? Hmm. Because noisy ends with Y. So this is the rule. If you want to change the adjective to the adverb, and this adjective ends with Y, this adjective ends with Y, huh? you have to change the Y to I, then add the Y. As, as you see here, noisy. Noisy ends with y and before y is consonant it must be consonant before y before y is consonant and you want to add ly so it will be noisily we change y and put i then ly again noisy ends with y and we have a rule we have a rule here before y if we have before y consonant not vowel a consonant not vowel if it's not vowel we change y and put ly noisy becomes noisily okay okay let's see the next we said that an adverb is a word that describes a verb he sings loudly so the word loudly describes the singing when sing it is an action or, or verb <clears throat> examples he swims well well notice here well is the adverb of good okay good becomes well and this is irregular irregular adjective or irregular um, uh, verb uh, adverb here he ran quickly quickly here describes the running and running is the action the verb the word quickly describe the verb run or ran here she spoke softly she spoke softly softly means quietly okay in a low voice she spoke softly softly describing the speaking here so speaking is hmm, a verb so softly is an adverb james cough <coughs> loudly to attract her attention to attract her attention so loudly he'll describe james 
the word loud describes James or the coughing. <laughs> the coughing, yes, the coughing is loudly. So the word loudly tells us more about the verb. He plays the flute beautifully. He plays the flute beautifully. Beautifully describing the playing. Okay, the way he plays the flute. He ate the chocolate cake greedily. Do you remember the, this adjective, greedy? The sons of the, uh, the emperor in the magic flute. Yes, they were greedy. So, greedily, the adverb of greedy. What did we do here? You know greedy, the spelling of greedy. G-R-E-D-Y. It ends with Y. And before Y is vowel, D. D is a vowel, right? No, D is a consonant. D is a consonant. So, you ha we have to change I, Y to I and then add L-Y. Greedily. Okay. Here are some uh, more uh, examples with pictures. Let's see the, the girl here. You have to speak quietly. You have to speak quietly. Quietly means a low voice, okay? When you are talking about, to, talking to your parents, father or mother, or your teacher, or someone older than you, you have to speak quietly, quietly. Don't make your voice uh, very high. You have to speak quietly. She cooks badly. She cooks badly, in a bad way. She cooks badly. In a bad way, okay. So badly here describing the cooking, and cook here is adverb, uh, is verb, action, okay. She drives carefully. She drives carefully. Carefully here a word tell us more about the driving, the drive. The drive here is verb. It walks slowly. The turtle. It walks slowly. Slowly is an adverb. Why? Because it describes the verb. Walking. My mom sometimes speaks angrily. My mom sometimes speaks angrily. Okay, you see the picture here? She is very angry. Angry. Adjective. Okay? But angrily here is adverb. Why? Because it describes speaks. The word the verb speak okay, so it's adverb okay very good let's uh, these are some more examples and not here in focus please we have beautiful and slow and bad these are normal adjective okay not uh, not irregular it, they are regular we just add ly beautiful becomes beautifully Slow, slowly, bad, badly, just L-Y, so they are regular. Happy, noisy, easy, we have a rule here. Happy ends with Y and before Y is consonant. Noisy, Y, S consonant. Easy, Y, S here consonant. So we change Y and add I instead of Y and add L-Y at the end before because it's an adverb. But the irregular forms here, the irregular forms here, good becomes well. Good becomes well. Fast, fast as it is. Hard, hard as it is. Don't say hardly. Don't say fastly. Okay? Focus here. Don't add ly to the irregular forms. Good, fast, hard. Fast and hard as they are. The car is fast fast here is, is adjective why because i describe the car and the car is noun but if i said the car um, moves for example the car moves fast the car moves fast so fast here is an adverb why because it describes because it is because it describes uh, the moving and move here is verb so the car moves 
fast fast here is at an effort okay nice really good okay so uh, study this schedule well please we have three forms or three kinds of uh, adverbs adverb will just add ly to the adjective and uh, an adverb that ends with y and before y is consonant must be consonant we change y to i and then ly we have good fast hard they are irregular forms of adverbs good becomes well fast becomes fast hard becomes hard okay very good let's continue yes now open please a page uh, 91 language book your, lang your language book page 91 please fast and answer this question very good very very easy sorry very easy number one slow plus ly becomes slowly two quiet Say it, say it quiet. Don't don't say it quiet. Quiet, okay. Quiet plus ly quietly. Sweet plus ly sweetly. Angry plus ly. We have a rule here. Y at the end of the adjective before it. A consonant. So change the consonant to i and then add ly. Angrily. Happy becomes happily. How how do you spell it? Happy H A W P Y before Y is consonant. So change Y and add L Y. Happily and the easy becomes easily like angry and happy. Very good. Exercise number two. Make up some sentences. Use each adverb of manner above in them. Make up some sentences, use each adverb of manner above that we did, these, these six adverbs, put them in a sentence. Slowly, I would make a sentence. Okay, please, make, make a sentence, pause the video, stop the video and make, make sentences, six sentences, using this adverb and uh, come back to listen to or to see uh, the answers. Okay, number one, let's see what's the sentence. This car runs slowly. This car runs slowly. Slowly is an adverb. Two, the students are sitting quietly. The students are sitting quietly in the class, for, for example. Number three, the baby smiles sweetly. The baby smiles sweetly sweetly is an adverb why it tell us more about smile and smile here is hmm, verb okay four my father talked angrily my father talked angrily angrily is an adverb she is singing happily she is singing happily happily is an adverb amazing the last one is easy the student answered the exam easily. The students answered the exam easily. Easily here is an adverb. Amazing. Very good. And this is your booklet. Please go bring your booklet and uh, write the answers. Booklet page 20. Okay. Uh, question number one. Choose. 1. They speak loud, loudly, louder. Which one? Hmm. It must be loudly. Why? Because we have to choose an adverb here. Why? Because you, we have here to, to describe speak. Speak is verb. Loud is wrong. Louder, of course, is wrong. Number 2. He runs quick, quickly, fasting. Hmm. Quickly, very really good. Why? Because it describes run. Run is verb. The taxi driver drives carefully, careful, slow, K 
carefully. Amazing. Nora behaves nice, nicely, nicer. Nicely, because this is an adverb, and nice and nicer are adjectives. Uh, Ali walks slow, slowly, careful. Hmm. Slowly, I mean, because it describes the word walk, and walk is, is a verb. Okay, question number two, rewrite. <coughs> Sorry. Number one, he is careful. Use drives. This sentence tells you or wants you to change or to use an adverb. Why? Because we, uh, he, he gave you this, uh, this question gave you, uh, gave you a verb to use it. So he wants you to describe this verb. And we have adjective here, careful. So it must be he drives careful or carefully. Very good. He drives, sorry, he drives carefully. Number two, my grandmother is slow. The thing, he gives you, he gave you walks. Okay, so my grandmother walks huh? slowly. Amazing. Number three, he is a careless boy. He is a careless boy. Careless is the opposite of careful. Mean, means um, bad, bad boy. He is a careless boy. Use behaves. Behaves is a verb. So hmm, he wants you to to see what's the adjective here in the sentence and transform it to an adverb. He behaves. Where is the adjective here? Careless. Very good. Careless. So carelessly, he behaves carelessly. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Let's see, let's see you next session, inshallah.